Hello there and welcome back. In this video, we are going to continue our nice GUI journey. So what we would like to do is to basically, where was I? We had uh, input mermaid. HTML elements and yeah let's see how we can add the uh, tabs so let's call this tabs.py and from nice GUI we import the UI and with UI.tabs as tabs we would like to go and add uh, basically the tabs that uh, sorry ui dot tab home and the icon <coughs> is going to be home and the ui dot tab about and the icon is going to be about and with ui dot tab dot underscore panels panels where we add the tabs and the value is equal to home what we would like to do is to use the with ui dot tab panel home and ui dot label and this is the first tab and then we would like to add the about and this is the second tab and let me replace it with the info so now we can use the ui.run function and let's see how the tabs look like if everything goes well we should be able to open up our browser here and once we click it you can see the animation and the text changing and this is how you can add uh, tabs now uh, since we have tabs we want to uh, improve on it and say that we want a menu that py so from nice gui we import the ui and with ui.row where the class is is w full items center we say that the result is equal to ui label and the class is mr auto class is uh, mr auto and with ui dot button on click equals lambda and we say that the lambda is the menu that open and then we say that the props is icon equals menu then here why is it not filled out oh anyway so menu that open and with ui that menu as menu ui dot menu underscore item and we say that this is the menu item one and the lambda is going to be a result that set text selected item one and we add the menu item two 
selected item 2 and <coughs> the menu item 3 selected item 3 and then we add the menu item 4 and here we want to change it up selected item 4 keep open and then we want to add the auto close equals false and we can use a separator and then menu item and we add the close and the on click equals menu that close now let's run our ui and see how it works python menu that py all right so now here we have our menu and if i click on it you can see i can select a different item and when the item 4 is clicked it will kept open and when i click on close it will be closed so this is how we can add basically a menu and uh, yeah we can use notifications we have seen it uh, let's see how we can use dialogues dialog.py so from nice GUI import UI with UI the dialog as dialog and UI that card what we would like to do is to have a label and we call this welcome and the UI dot button close on click equals to dialog close and then the UI dot button we have the open message and on click dialog dot open and finally we can run our UI so let's see how this works dialog.py and if we go here we can click on the open and we have the welcome message and the close button all right let's see another example <laughs> let's see how we can apply uh, styling so um, if we want to work with different stylings we have to know that we have the option to use tailwind css or the quasar framework and this base quasar is basically a vue.js uh, framework and we will see how we can use this for styling <coughs> let's stop this and call this quasar.py and from nice gui import ui and ui.radio and we say that this is the x y and z and the value is equal to x props is going to be inline color equals green and we will have the ui dot button dot props icon equals touch app outline round and the class is shadow lg 
and we will have the UI dot label and we say that this is stylish and the style is going to be color hashtag 6e 93d6 and font size 200 percent and font weight is going to be 300 and we use the ui that run so let's see how this looks like Mm -hmm. All right, so this is how the radio buttons look like and here is how the stylish. Uh, in this video, I wanted to show you this. See you in the next one.